Today, a minimum wage job in America will not keep a mama and a baby out of poverty. Climate change is no longer something that's just some esoteric scientific fact. It's something we have to do something about right now. We need to pass a Green New Deal. Health care is a right. It has to be publicly funded. It has to be comprehensive. Right. And uh, those are some of the issues that the Democratic candidates, who would number about 16 or 17 now, have been bringing up on the campaign trail. Howard Schultz, also on the campaign trail, former CEO of Starbucks, best-selling author. His book is now out. But, Howard, you are a Democrat, but you looked at some of that, that field and you said to yourself, I'm going to run, more than likely, but they are not saying what I believe. Well, uh, I think you just showed clips of people who are well-intentioned, love the country, uh, but they're out of touch with... Uh, these kind of policies that, in my view, are not realistic. And I think the American people are searching for a longing of truth, authenticity, and obviously policies that can be passed. But the reason I've decided to consider running as an independent is not only because of what you just showed, but the fact that the two-party system is broken. We can't have a moral society if we don't have a moral government. And every step of the way, with $22 trillion of national debt, an immigration policy that's broken, health care policy, education issues, uh, our standing in immigration. the world. Immigration. Yeah, and our standing in the world. And I know that you are strong proponents of the president. I understand that. But we have issues right now that must be solved. They will not be solved by two parties that are in bed every single day to defeat one another as opposed to representing the American people. And that's why I think that 42 percent of the American people are... Mm -hmm registered as independents and are looking for an alternative other than a right. Republican or a Democrat. Howard, you mentioned uh, of the policies that need attention, you mentioned immigration. Yes. Right now there's a crisis at our southern border. Yes. How would you fix it? Well, what I wouldn't do is, uh, you know, in, in all due respect to the president, I would not cut off aid to Central America. But the issue of immigration... They're not stopping people from yeah, leaving. Why? Yeah, why? That's tax dollars. Well, let, me, let me answer the question. So. Uh, First of all, it's, it should be instructive to understand one thing. This has been going on for 20 years. So President Bush and President Obama, Republican and Democratic president, both gave the oppositional Congress an immigration bill. And if I showed you those immigration bills right now, you, each one of you could not tell which was a Republican and which was a Democratic Oh, bill. we covered it back then. Yeah, and they were both shut down. Why? Because both parties at the time were unwilling to give the president Republican or Democrat, a victory. Right. And right now we have the same kind of situation. Whether you like the Democrats or Republican, it doesn't even matter. Nancy Pelosi is not going to give the president a victory. It's not going to happen. Why? Because doesn't want to see him realize. When a wall works. Yeah, yeah, it's not a question of whether a wall works. The Republicans are correct. We need fierce, strict borders and we need verification. But the issue also is about humanity. In my view, the dreamers should be given a pathway to citizenship. No one even brings them up anymore. No, it's, 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 and the president has been up and down about that issue. Why doesn't he come out and say, yes, the dreamers have a right? In terms of the 11 million unauthorized people who are here, let's get the facts right. The majority of those people did not cross the border. They're here because their visa expired. So that, that's another truthful fact. But, but, it, but it's probably yeah. closer to 20 million, they say. And it's right. not 20 million. No, I've studied this inside now. It's, the facts are it's about 11 to 12 million people, and 65% of them have come because of their visa expired. Overstays. Yeah. So, but the, but his issue is a, also an issue of humanity. This president, the people that, that all these Republicans, promised growth of three, four, five percent. We got two percent growth right now. Yeah. Immigration has been a catalyst for growth in this country. But not illegal over immigration. People but, seeking across the border aren't a catalyst for growth. No, but that's we, a catalyst for chaos. No, but we. But this is not an either-or situation. We could secure the borders. We can fund ICE with Republican policies. I agree with that. But we also can have a deep sense of humanity. And if you poll the American people, this is the issue: the 80 percent of the American people want and have wanted an immigration solution. Mm -hmm. So why can't we give it to them? We can't give it to them because... Because both sides want to run on that issue. Yeah, because both sides would rather have this issue weaponized and a solution, including the president.
Hmm. Howard, a lot of people liked the president, and middle America got him because he was honest. He had a lot of money. He would show up at the rallies with his yeah. plane behind him. It said Trump. He would talk about how much money he had and the money that he yeah. inherited and how he made a billion dollars. You have a story. You grew up in Brooklyn. Then you end up becoming the CEO of Starbucks, the biggest, one of the biggest coffee chains, if not the biggest. You'd probably say it is. How did you get there? What's your story? My story is I grew up in the projects in Brooklyn, New York, on the other side of the tracks. What my, was it that, that made my, you want to My find mother success? believed that your station in life did not define you, imprinted in me, and, our, and that there was an opportunity in America to succeed regardless of the color of your skin or station in life. I worked hard, went to college, had a big idea, and I was successful, and it could only happen in America. However, 40% of American families today are $400 away from a crisis. So yes, the economy is booming for lots of people. The president uses the stock market as a proxy for the economy. Sometimes. I don't agree with that. And I, I'm a capitalist. I'm proud of it. However, we can't have a country in which millions of people are being left behind. This is an opportunity right now to recognize, yes, there are a lot of things going well in America, but our standing in the world is being... So how do you help those people without taxing the wealthy as much oh, as I some of these ca candidates want to do? Well, I think the wealthy should be taxed more, to be honest with you. Well, how, I, much? I how and much? I, and I, th whether it's, it doesn't matter how much. Let me finish. It does if you're wealthy. Okay, I'm, well, hold on a minute. You know, guys don't let me answer any question. Hold on. We have a lot of questions. Okay. The, the, the issue is, um, in terms of the economy, if the, most of the wealthy people in America recognize that if their taxes are increased, the question is, will the government be responsible about how that money is being spent? Right now, for all your Republican viewers, for eight years during Obama, eight years, McConnell, Boehner, Ryan, they banged on Obama every single day for one thing, fiscal discipline and, and, and fiscal responsibility. Well, well, now we have 22... You're talking in a circle. What, well, how much should rich people be taxed? It doesn't matter how much... It does matter. No. What percentage? 40, 50? Because right now you're playing like 45%. Yeah. But the Is marginal... take more money from but, you? But the marginal tax rate of whether it's 30%, 40% is not going to solve the $22 trillion debt problem we have. You're asking the right question, but it's the wrong issue. The issue is, how do we get right. our handle around $22 trillion of debt right. that under this president has been, at, we've added a trillion dollars of debt, we're paying $500 billion of interest expense. This has been a Republican issue. Where are the Republicans? Well, that's Emma, true. Help, help me understand and, that. And it, and it also doubled over the last eight years. No, but, but, but where? So this is the thing. The wait, 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 wait. Balls was a bipartisan way of attacking the deficit, yeah. and no one even brought it up for a vote. Wait a minute. But you represent every day your Republican viewers. Where are the Republicans? We represent American viewers. Okay, where are the Republicans and where are the pres where's the president on the $22 trillion Great debt? Great point, and we should attack that. Okay, and why is it immoral? It's immoral because it's going to be on the backs of our kids and grandkids. And that's why right. I realize that the Republicans and Democrats are not going to solve this problem. So and you are going to run on uh, paring down the debt. That's going to be one of the foundations. I'm going to run on a, if I run for president, on a centrist position of character, morality, okay. and getting our house in order. But I would just ask rhetorically, where are the Republicans but, on the $22 trillion uh, Howard, in debt? that's a great point, but nobody wants to cut anything. No one wants to cut social programs because it's debt for po politics. No one wants to cut defense because of the, the uh, race we're in with Russia and China. We do this. Well, you know what we're talking about? You know what we're talking about? Leadership. Real leadership. But you Howard, don't have all the votes. We, you have to get people together without a party behind you. Howard, well. we clearly have a lot of questions for you, but... Folks at home, if they want to learn more about you, they can watch the town hall on Thursday night. Brett Barron, Martha McCallum, and you are going to going out yeah. to Kansas City. Yep. We're going to eat some barbecue. Yeah. And you're Kansas going to answer City. questions with them. And I'm excited to do it, and I'm, 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 I'm thankful that Fox has given me the opportunity. And I think we should have an honest conversation about all of these issues, including right. the issues that some Republicans don't want to address. And, uh, and just Indeed. everyone needs to hear your success story. No one gave you anything. You earned it. It so can only happen in America. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Your mom, you your mom did a good job. Job, then. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome.